If you noticed that ChatGPT was a little sluggish this week, there's a reason why. We got a new update and this one for content creators, bloggers, Pinterest marketers, YouTubers, TikTokers, Instagrammers, all the things, not to mention just anybody running any kind of business that wants to work off of data but doesn't really want to look at the data, this is huge. What we're able to do now is we're able to add files to projects, then the entire project can work off those files. Let me show you how I figured out today exactly how I'm making money on these platforms. And these tools are going to tell me in plain English that you might not understand <laughs> if you're not a data person. Okay. So ChatGPT is going to show us exactly how we make money in our business. Let me give you a couple examples. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here to projects. Now you'll notice on mine, I have a bunch of projects. There's a reason for this projects. One, they act like file folders. So if you want to open a project and put all kinds of, you could put your tone of voice in there. You can do all kinds of things in the instructions, but you can also save all the chats that you create right here in this folder. That's how most people are using projects that don't understand the power of how to use projects. Okay. So yes, first of all, you can just take any of your chats and you can click on the three dots on the right and you can add to a project that alone is great for organization. But also inside each project, there are instructions. In these instructions, you can tell it what to do every time you have some sort of a chat. You can tell it tone of voice. You can tell it how to write a blog. You could tell it how to make your images. There's all kinds of things you can do with instructions. You can tell it what to avoid. It won't be perfect, but the better you get at prompting and, and testing things on here, the better that will be. Okay. But now we can add project files. So I just ran this just to see if it would do what I thought it would do just kind of on instinct. What I did is I went to my YouTube channel. I'm going to show you how I did this. I downloaded my analytics. Then I uploaded them right here in the project files, the whole zip folder. I didn't even have to unzip it. I didn't have to do anything. Now, anytime I need, ChatGPT to make a decision based on evidence, giving me content ideas, telling me which direction to go next. It can do it off of data rather than just winging it. Okay. So watch this output. I did it here. Okay. And I'm going to go up and show you what I did based on the uploaded file. So I did not upload the file again. I only uploaded it to the project files based on the uploaded file. Tell me what's working. What's working on this channel. Now look what it did. Here's what's working based on the data. Your Pinterest and Amazon affiliate marketing are the top performers. Videos like make money on Pinterest with Amazon affiliate marketing and Pinterest affiliate marketing turn Pinterest into passive income. Both have high CTRs and long average view durations. Your content around AI workflows and fast content creation also perform well, especially when it includes practical time saving strategies. Now I didn't give it the money data yet. That would be on a separate spreadsheet, but this alone is telling me what's working on my channel. Okay. So then watch this a minute ago. I wanted to make this video where I tell you guys about ChatGPT's new feature, but I didn't know the angle. How do I, where, where do I want to go with this? So I want to talk about it related to Pinterest or related to YouTube. Watch what it says. So I said, so I want to make a video of, in a minute about ChatGPT's ability to add files to projects. Specifically, I want to show them how they can download analytics from other platforms, upload it to ChatGPT. So I told it what I wanted to do. Look what it said. Based on your top performing videos, here's the angle that aligns best with what's already resonating. How I use ChatGPT to find what's actually making me money. This is incredible. Then it tells me why that works with the other videos. Now let's continue this conversation for a minute. Okay. You gave me a few top performing videos. Are there other topics uh, doing well on this channel? 
Now, take in, take in mind, it's it's not looking at conversions right now, conversions to sales, conversions to ebooks. You'd have to upload other files for that. Right now, it's just based on views. What content am I posting that's getting the most views? Now, for me, usually those the most views also relate to money because of how I make my videos. So I kind of know that. But in your case, that, that may not. Now, look what it's saying. Top performing topics. Pinterest, affiliate, AI, blog, Amazon, chat GPT, content, YouTube. Okay, so here we go. Highest total views across 57 channels, Pinterest. And it is interesting because every time I make a Pinterest video, it does well. I sell eBooks, I sell, I get coaching clients. I get, YouTube believes I'm about Pinterest. It's just one of the places that it has really given me some sort of authority for, okay? Next one is affiliate marketing, most frequent topic. Now this is this is the most frequent topic because it's my favorite topic. <laughs> so that makes sense why I live off affiliate marketing and sweetie my entire life. So I'm so passionate about it. Most frequent topic, 87 videos with strong total views. AI also in 87 videos showing consistent interest, especially when paired with automation. And here's what's funny. In my head, I never come in and just make an AI video, but clearly I do. In some, in some way, I'm using AI as part of my education and part of my teaching, but it's not a specific strategy where I say, oh, let me just go talk about the latest and greatest in AI. So that's an interesting one to me. Blog content, Amazon. Now, Amazon is saying fewer videos, but still have high average views. What would that tell me? I need to make more videos but Amazon, okay? Now, want help picking a fresh spin that blends these topics with your chat GPT upload? Um, no. Are there any other strong topics? What do you think YouTube believes my channel is about now? Now you can reposition a channel. If you've been going down the wrong direction and you don't think it's worth it, you want to start piggyback, you know, creating something new, you can. My entire channel was a real a channel about real teaching real estate agents. Everything I did was real estate related. Rather than starting a new channel, since it was already monetized, I shifted to the digital marketing space and it worked for me. It took a while, but it worked for me. All right, so here, YouTube currently sees your channel being about Pinterest marketing, especially affiliate strategies using Amazon. AI tools like ChatGPT, content monetization. Ooh, that's one of my favorite topics. I didn't even catch that. These aren't high, just your high performers. They define the core identity of your channel. Ooh. I love this. Okay, now watch this. So now I'm going to, okay, it says want to know how to reinforce or broaden this niche without hurting performance. Yes. So I have noticed that when I started pumping YouTube shorts through the channel, my channel started dropping, something I've been observing. And it might be because the topics are too outside of my typical tutorial style education. So the, the point of this is the more we stay on topic, the better. The more we stay on topic, the better. The more we stay on topic, the better. So look what it's saying. Stay rooted in making money with AI. Your current niche is how to make money using AI plus content plus affiliate tools. Gosh, I didn't even, I wouldn't have even guessed that. Yes, I would have said, if somebody said, what is your YouTube channel about? I would have said digital marketing, specifically Pinterest, blogging. It, this, this, this gives me such a better idea of what my channel is. If you test new angles, always tether them back to this. Example, instead of top five Canva features I love, five Canva features that make my affiliate pins go viral. I almost want to cry right now. This is so good. Yes, it literally, instead of guessing and creating these generic topics based on what you think is going to work, now we know how do we tie that into what our channel actually is about. Use playlists to segment verticals. I'll have to spend some time in there. That's great. Test new topics through known angles. This creator setup made my Pinterest workflow three times faster. Oh, I love this. Double down on pinned winners. Now do you realize every time I come in and I want to create a new video, I run it through this engine and it'll tell me how to make that video and tie it directly into what YouTube believes my niche is actually about. Then, and this will work. We're going to do it in a second for Pinterest too. This will work for any of your channels. You put your TikTok analytics in there, put your Instagram analytics in there, put your Facebook analytics in there, put your e-store, e-commerce store analytics in there, your Etsy store, your eBay store, whatever it is you're doing. Okay. 
um, want me to help you structure your channel into these core verticals and suggest videos for each. Yes, please. It's funny, the creator of AI said, stop saying please and thank you because we're wasting too much power. So I'm, I try not to do that. Channel core, how I make money with AI content and affiliate marketing. Okay, you teach systems that help people automate, monetize, and create faster. Yes, I do. It's exactly what I do. They just said it so much better than I could have. So one is the Pinterest affiliate system, two AI content systems, three affiliate marketing systems, four content monetization breakdown, five creator workflow and tools I use. Want me to map this to your existing videos? What? And suggest what to move or republish? Oh my gosh. Yes, I do. Don't you love how ChatGPT is leading us to what we need to do next without me having to prompt it to ask it what to do next? By the way, for those wondering, I am using ChatGPT 4.0 for this right now. This is what I'm using. And I do have a pro account. I don't have any idea what the difference is between the pro features and the free features right at the moment. So go look at your ChatGPT. As long as you have projects, the ability to have files, you can do what I'm doing right now. Okay? So... Here's the video playlist. Now remember, I haven't even uploaded the money part of it yet or anything, which I will. This is just based on long form video views. So here's how your top videos should be mapped to playlists. So it tells me where to go put them into a playlist. Want me to go deeper to the full set? Yes. So now it'll go look at all of my videos and it's gonna tell me what to put in a playlist based on that spreadsheet that I uploaded. So while ChatGPT can, in a way, go look at a, at a YouTube channel, do an audit by uploading this data, and we need to keep the data fresh. Right now, I fed one year. But you could go in there maybe every 30 days and add the new 30-day file so that it's measuring time over time, how are your new strategies working compared to the older strategies, that kind of thing. Okay, there it is. Look what it did. It put it in a spreadsheet. No, it didn't. Video title, suggested playlist. This is gold. Want me to give you optimized playlist descriptions? Yes, I do. So now we can go in and update our playlists and then we can go in and create all of our descriptions. Look how ChatGPT is just leading us to the next thing. Want me to suggest what your next video should be in each category? I absolutely do. Absolutely do. I typically work off inspiration, but I will definitely take these types of things, you know, to heart when I make, when I'm looking at my next videos. So what's actually making me money is underrepresented with only eight videos, yet it aligns with your core promise of showing real data. Fair enough. Pinterest affiliate strategies and affiliate marketing workflows are solid, but have room to grow. You have 217 uncategorized videos. Your next video ideas by playlist. What's actually making me money? I gave ChatGPT my YouTube analytics and it found the three videos making me the most money. Wow. Okay, I'll have to do that. I'll upload the video. I'll upload it and make that one coming up. Pinterest affiliate strategies. How I turn a Pinterest image into five affiliate sales. Affiliate marketing workflows. My exact repurpose IO set up to go from TikTok to YouTube to Amazon. Oh, this is so golden. Okay, so let's let that sit for a second. And now let's do the same thing with Pinterest, okay? So now I'm gonna go over to projects and I'm gonna to go to Pinterest and I need Pinterest Balan Blogger. I'm gonna go with this one, Balan Blogger. Okay, now add files and I'm gonna to go to add files and I'm gonna upload my Pinterest data right here, Pinterest analytics, okay. To get to your analytics, you guys, like on YouTube, you just scroll on the left side, go to analytics, then choose wherever you want to go. Do you want overview? Do you want content? Do you want audience analytics? Do you want revenue analytics? Do you want trends? In this particular case, I came over here to content and then I clicked on videos and then I scrolled down here and it's right here, top videos. I clicked see more. And now here's, here's the date I downloaded. And right up here, I changed this to 365 days. Then that top right arrow, that allows you to download the folder. 
and I downloaded it in the comma separated values. And that's what I fed to chat GPT. So you can do the same thing for traffic sources, for geography, for cities, all kinds of data you can pull individually. For Pinterest, I just went to my analytics. I changed it to outbound clicks and I clicked export. So all we're looking at right now with Pinterest is outbound clicks because that is the most important metric to me at the moment for what I'm trying to come up with ideas, okay? So I'm coming over here to ChatGPT. I uploaded the Pinterest analytics. Now they're uploaded, okay? I'm gonna start a new chat. Based on the uploaded file, what, uh, what pins are bringing me the most clicks? Looking at topics right now. Okay, here we go. Analyzing. Sorry, it's not faster. These things take a minute as they first upload. Now I'm using 4.0. Remember, if you want deeper research, even you could change this to 03 or 03 Pro, 04, but I'm getting what I want out of 4.0 right now. So only when I really need something beyond that, do I switch over to one of the other ones. So the first time you run this, it's going to be a little deeper in the analysis, but once it's run and uploaded every time. So let me give you an example. Once this uploads, let's just say later, I want to do a blog for Pinterest rather than guessing, I will come in here and start a new document. And I will say, based on the topics that we've chosen and my Pinterest account is about what's my next blog in the series. Same as I would do for YouTube. Same with TikTok. Can you imagine if you're a TikTok shop affiliate and you upload all your sales data and it tells you what products to promote? <laughs> okay. The uploaded file appears to contain daily summary data like total clicks per pin, not detailed pin. Okay. Let me go look. Oh, you're right. I did it wrong. What I needed to do was look at my actual pins. Let me go back. Why are they not there? Oh, please. Let's take a look. So we're going to go down here. There they are. Sort by outbound clicks. This is the one I meant to do. And then will it let me change the dates? Only stats from the last six months can be shown. Where's the data field? You know what I'm going to do for right now? I'm going to leave this right here at what we just did because this will take too long. And I think that was powerful enough to give you an idea of how chat GPT can help you discover what's working for you. I will come back and I will make, make another video on this specifically for each platform and how I'm using it. I think that will be very helpful. If you like this style of coaching, check out balanceblueprint.com. I do have a group coaching program and I'd love to have you.